Hey guys, welcome back to part two. So today I'm just gonna be um, cutting this rug down, putting some backing on and finishing it up, doing some detail work. So let's get to it. to cut this rug down or you can use like some I think people end up like taking their whole frame down and peeling it off that way but I use staples like I said in the last video so I'm not gonna be able to just take it off like that so this is gonna come in handy all right so if you remember from the last video this is what this was looking like and it's all dry now and it's really not as tacky as I thought it was gonna be but that's because I let it dry for about two days. Um, really, I think you're just supposed to let it dry um, like you have to for, what, 24 to 48 hours. And then it'll be fine to take down. But I work, so I wasn't going to do anything yesterday. So, But this is what that's looking like. So I find that cutting the bottom ones off, if you have some on the top or bottom, it's easier just because... When you cut this off, you'll still have this. And sometimes it tends to like, if you cut this one off, this will roll down or something like that. So I tend to just cut it, the bottoms uh, first. So you might want to leave a little extra space just for when we're going to flip that over. Because um, I've tried both ways where I left some space and where I didn't. And I just cut it kind of right here. That way it was no space and I wouldn't have to fold it over. But I didn't like that. So I think I'm just going to end up doing it how I did it before but like right here I have no choice because these are so close together but oh well and I got this from like you can get this at like the Dollar Tree if you want to or get some good ones at Home Depot Home Depot is like my store apparently but I'm gonna get this cut into it there we go That was so easy. So like, look at this, you Hello, see what I mean? <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, honestly, I should have cut the bottom first and I wasn't really trying to demonstrate what not to do. Um, <laughs> I just didn't think about it on the bottom one too. But you want to cut that bottom one off first so you won't have to deal with this. And you won't have to hold it up and try to cut it. But now I'm going to get some assistance. Can you hold this please? Just hold it like this. It's at the top so I can cut this off. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I love, I love the assistance that I have. Isn't she doing a good job? <laughs> there we go. This is how big this is. This is, like I said, a three feet by three feet rug. And that's what, see how it's curved up and stuff? And I got some leftover little leftover right here that I can pull back. And I'm gonna end up hot gluing it like that, but I'll show you guys that in a minute. And I guess you can cut it from the front too. I've never tried that. And I'm not gonna try it today. And I'm gonna cut this whole thing off just because I don't want any of this. I'm gonna keep all that stuff at the bottom down there. I know you can't see it. This stuff right here, I'm gonna keep all this at the bottom. So I'm gonna cut up under this because this will be hard to tuft into. And I'm gonna use this for another rug that I'm gonna do later on. It's gonna fall and I'm not gonna be able to hold it. It's like, that's this one right here that I just cut off. See how long, this one's really long actually. This is a, what I say, two and a half by four. Yeah, so really liking that one. 
my lovely lady in the background over there say hi with my other child. That's the only grandkids my mom will have. That's half of my sister. The only ones for me. So. Yeah. And then this one right here, I like this one too. And this is a three by, three by three too. So, yeah. These are, these are all my, I think some of the biggest ones I've done so far. I think I usually just stay around this. Um, I haven't done a full six foot one. I'm not ready for that. It's gonna be a lot of yarn. But, anywho. Time to use this bad boy right here. So I got in these. <laughs> Make sure you put your stuff back up so you can stay neat, cause it's gonna be a lot of stuff that's just everywhere. So, I got this glue gun from my girlfriend's office. I don't know where she got it from. But you can find a glue gun at, like, Walmart um, or Amazon. Amazon has everything. Um, as you can see, I've been using it. Huh. I was supposed to clean it off, but everything can't be perfect. So, let's not expect anything perfect, okay? Okay, just another little life lesson here. I put the rug on my table. You can do this on the table or the floor. Um, my legs just cramp up on the floor, so I do it on the table. And you see what I did with this um, right here? Can you see? This is my old tucked in frame. I just put it on the back of my table, so if I ever wanted to use that, I just turn my table around and do it like that. Um, so I tried to rearrange up in here because it was really cluttered. All right, so what you want to do is get you some nice scissors. I got these from Home Depot. These are some really good scissors. They cut through about anything. Or you can get you some little cheap, nice, well, these aren't cheap either. <laughs> some little small scissors for the little intricate. Little, yeah. So what I like to do is like you see these ends right here? Okay. Jesus. I like to cut. If I can get a grip on it, hold on. Let me sit down. So you can see back. All right. So I like to get right here and kind of cut this a little square off of it. Just like that. Just like that. That way on this corner piece, when I fold it over, it's going to be, which this is also why you want to get uh have a lot more left over so you can fold it over easily and then we're gonna hot glue this and then you see this right here once you fold that over you got that nice little corner yeah so just cut you a nice little choop, small square um so you can get those corner pieces like you want them so check to see if your hot gun heated up and if it is let's see <clears throat> And I think mine is because it's starting to ooze out a little bit. And what you want to do is just put you a little dab or two right there. And then just fold that over. Just like this. Be careful not to burn yourself. I've worked with hot glue for a while now, so I'm not going to burn myself. Also, if it's easier for you... Hold on, let me do this for one more. Okay. If it's easier for you to do this in sections, you can cut this like this. Do a slice here. Do another slice here. That way you can, you can fold down like smaller sections than to fold down the whole thing and worry about this not being glued down enough so and then also what i like to do which you can do this before or you can do this after i like to do it before i put the backing on and i just kind of cut this off like this so it'll be a smooth so it'll be smooth on the back and then 
this is where I start to get messy because I, I didn't dump my trash can out. So I, um, I'm going to dump this on the floor and just pick it up again later. So once again, don't worry about me. Okay. I'm going to pick it up. Okay. I'm going to put it in a nice neat pile. Okay. So, yeah, but like I was saying, I like to cut that off. That way, once I put that backing on, it won't be so bunched up right here and I'll have to keep pulling it over to try to get that there so yarn won't go in there. It's too much. It's too much. Okay, so you don't got to do all that. You don't have to do all that. It's too much. And then you're going to get stressed out and you're not going to want to do this no more. And what's that going? What is that going to solve? Nothing. Okay, back here. All right, so watch how easier this is here. I'll do even another slit. This just take too long for me. And then just little glue, little glue, little glue, and then just bend that little small piece over like that. Push that down. So you see that? Cut this little piece off. Cut it off, cut it off. So I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna do this whole rug and I'm gonna finish those two up. Um, and when we come back, I'll show you um, what backing I use and how to put that on there. So I forgot to show you guys what this felt like. So you see that? Listen to this. That is like, not bad tacky, but it's tacky. So if you are wanting to just keep your rug like this and say you're um, hanging it up or something, um, instead of putting it on the floor, but just take that in mind. That this, if you use that adhesive, it's gonna be tacky. Um, even though it's dry, um, it has that sticky feel to it. And it will stick to your floor, see like, yeah, see that? So, but if you're putting the backing on it, it don't matter. So this is also why I say don't wear your good clothes. You know, get you something that you just go around the house in because yeah, get hot glue everywhere. This is probably old epoxy. Yeah, find you a working shirt. Don't use your good clothes. That's another fact. Look at all this fuzz that's going around. Mess around and be like SpongeBob. Now they're floating around my thinking space. Ugh. So long, pesky particles. <laughs> As you can see, I got all of my edges pulled. It's glued down nice and neat. Um, so, talking about backing. So, I know you have your traditional backing that you can get from Tough and Gun or Amazon or Joann's. I don't use traditional backing. Um, so, like the felt and all that, I haven't upgraded to that. Okay? We got to start lower. So, when I started doing researching, um, backing and stuff you can use for the back of carpets. I came across a lot of videos that talked about using this like drop cloth. And it's been doing, I mean, it's, it does the same thing. Now, so I use this drop cloth. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like um, what painters use when they paint and they lay something down so paint won't get on the floor. So you, they have like different sizes of them. You have to get like the heavy duty kind. I don't know how the other ones work. I don't know if they're just as good, but if you get the heavy duty kind, it's just as good as traditional backing. So, and this is like a cheap alternative too. Um, I mean, yeah, so get that. And you can also um, add like that foam stuff in the back. I, I don't do that because I don't, I don't find it necessary for me. And I don't know who, who um, Yeah, so this is working for me, so I'm just gonna continue to use that. So.
So you can get this at Home Depot. I'll, you know, I'll link everything in the description. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I put this on here. There's really no rhyme or reason to how I do this. Um, I, it's just the same as if you were using traditional backing. Um, so if you do have traditional backing or you want to get that, then by all means go for it. Um, this is just what I use. So, and I'm pretty sure the method on how to put it on there is the same. Um, so what I do is lay this out. Don't mind this extra yarn that's on here. I've been using it. I lay this out kind of on top of it. Maybe if I, hold on, let me get this out. All right, so I don't want it to stick just yet. So I'll lay this on top of it, like I'm saying, and I will just cut it to size. And I don't cut it, um, and I don't cut it directly to what I need. I kind of leave a little excess space. Um, that way I can pull it and spread it out like I want to. Let's go ahead and do that. And you kind of want to do it so you can save your materials. Let me get down here. So you can save your materials. So try to do it at the edge. So, and honestly, I don't even have to cut that right here. And just I'm gonna cut it right here. Ma'am, can you hold on for a second? No, can, can you hold on for a second, excuse me? Just for a second. Can you say it for me? Thank you, just stay there. I don't mind you being in here with your mama, you know, but we gotta, mama's doing something, okay? All right, so. I don't wanna, see this is what I'm saying. It's not this difficult, y'all. I'm just in a bad area. Okay, here we go. Now, now we got it. All right. This is right there. Let me just. And I know some people are gonna be like. Oh my God, no, why would you use drop cloth for that? It works, it works. If you've never used it, try it. It's very cheap, not very cheap, but you get, it's kind of like using the burlap instead of um, the primary tufting cloth. Gets the job done, doesn't it? Yeah, ain't that right? That's right, give me high five. Give me high five if it's right. I don't want to hug. I don't want to hug. Give me a high five. High five. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Kisses. Mwah. Love ya. Got to love the babies. All right. So now we're going to spray the adhesive on there. So y'all remember when I was talking about don't wear a mask? Well, I was only talking about the adhesive, the carpet adhesive. This shit, this shit is toxic. This is what I've been using. It's the Gorilla, kind of Gorilla spray adhesive. It's really good and it's very strong. It stinks. But then I forgot that I had this also that fell out of my closet this morning. So I said it had to be a sign to use this. And this really is really good too. I use that for um, my little thingies on the wall, but Anywho, so I think I'm going to try this one out today. And hopefully the smell is not as strong as this. This is also why I do this outside because of the strong smell. Um, and no, I don't eat in this oven. This is for sublimation tumblers. So this is toxic also. So first of all, you want to flip this back. Get this little piece of yarn out there. Flip that back. And what I like to do... It's literally just spray. Spray your adhesive. Now you want to do a little at a time. And also, uh, this is not going to take long to dry. But I just kind of spread it like that. Just like that. 
So, see how smooth that is? And then you just start like this. Start like this and just keep going. So, one thing I do want to mention, if you spray so much on here at a time, it will seep through. Um, and that's not just with this backing, um, that's with any backing and spray adhesive. So do like light layers and let it, don't let it dry, but don't try to soak it down just because you think you didn't put enough adhesive. It's gonna stick, okay? So just keep that in mind. Okay, the fan, the spray, spray, spray. And the same thing. I just want to work it down. Making sure it's tight. Now, and we're going to just repeat this until we're down to the to the bottom. I also want to say, you don't have to worry about, you see how this is not sticking all the way? Well, it kind of is, but not. Don't worry about that because we're going to hot glue the edges and that's also going to add some extra security look at that looks good from the back right now let me be more specific this is you can see there can you see it canvas drop cloth and it's heavy duty um, from the home depot so guess i can take this off huh it is cold outside, but it's hot in here. It's so chilly. All right, so what I was telling you guys about this right here, well, and also this. See all this? This is why I want all that gone, so it'll be easier for me to put this cloth on here. All right, so you got all this excess, and what we're about to do is just cut it off. So what you can do is get you a marker and kind of just trace the seam and cut it, but that's extra. It's not really necessary. What I do, yeah, is I just do this right here. I just recorded so much and didn't push record. But I was basically saying, I'm gonna get those little black strips um, I forgot what they are called, but you put them on the edges of your, um, on the edges of your rug, um, and I'll uh, put it right here or something if I remember it at the end of the video, um, but I'm gonna purchase those, I just haven't purchased it yet, um, but you won't see me putting those on in this video, um, so. Okay. And I'm sure it's an easier way to do this. Um, but mind you, I'm still going to cut this off, some more of this stuff off, once I hot glue it down. So now, now, you want to get your, you want to get your hot glue gun. And you want to kind of, not kind of, you want to actually hot glue these edge pieces just like that and then we'll go back in and cut who this hot we'll go back in and cut this off these edge pieces off all right so we are done with this backing see that see that yeah and all you do Get that sucker up this nice and smooth. Lift that sucker over. Yeah, see that's good. That's good. So the black things that I'm talking about, they go right here and they kind of bend over. So it just adds another layer of 
honestly protection for the edges to not come off. So now I'm going to go through and we're going to start detailing this whole, I mean this rug. <laughs> so this is my favorite part. So I like, look at my tummy. So I use my big scissors. I got some of these tweezer type things that I stole from Babe's office again. Um, it's, they're really good. That's why I like them. They're durable. I got me my small scissors that I showed you earlier. And then I use these clippers. Now, I'm just going with what I know to do. Because um, I usually use the clippers to shave it down. And once again, like I said, I recently got this never used these before do i want to try them out on a rug that i'm supposed to be giving someone i don't know originally i would use like this and i just kind of get some of this bulk off Like this i get some of the bulk off just so i can see a little bit more so look at the difference this is what i'm talking about let me move some of this so you see this right here all this extra these are just long strands that just come out so i got some of this bulk out so i can actually see what i need to go in with my tweezers and kind of move around you know what i'm saying i also want to mention when i'm shaving these down with this i don't go in any particular direction okay um, honestly, whichever way I need to go. So like, for instance, this right here, you see how these are going this way. It would make sense for me to do it this way, but I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter if I did it this way or that way, because then you do that. So you can go back in and always fix that up. So it doesn't really matter which way you shave your rug or anything. Just wanted to show you guys a difference between trimming your edges and not. So, of course, this is what it, that looks like. A real nice straight line. And you see this on the side? I don't like this. How it's all fuzzy and it's kind of thin. A lot of people just try to thicken theirs up on the end. But either way, it's going to end up being like a frayed edge. Now, if you like that, by all means, do it. Sure. That's good for you. But I just cut all of this off and kind of shape it up. Yeah, that's not shaped up, of course. But, yeah, just kind of. And it's easy to do it like, like I said, if you would have cut all of that stuff off on the bottom, it would have been easier. And I just cut that. You can start at the bottom, cut that like that. Or you can do it from the side. I do both ways because it ends up being better. I'm going to eventually cut most of this off too. This is a rug that detail is going to be intricate. Like, it's going to be so detailed. That's why I'm going to start using this first and I'm going to see how we do. But listen to that. That's just on one. And it goes all the way to six. So... Here we go. This is what that little piece looks like. So Which, of course, I haven't done uh, any detail work because you can't even read what that says, but... Now tell me what y'all think, how it did. Let me show you what kind of detail work is going to have to be done. So this right here, you can't even read what this is supposed to say. So what I do is I take my tweezers and kind of push my yarn where I want it to go. So like this right here. Once you get your letters how you want them, um, you can do this multiple ways. So... You could get like these type of scissors right here. And you can go in and just cut individually each 
little corner piece and just like this. However, I find it easier just to take my clippers, turn it all the way so you have this setting and you have this setting. Turn it all the way right here. And just shave this off. do it this way because you see how now you have some more little areas that you need to kind of clean up and fix and all that well say you went in and did all of this and did those little scissors and now you go and get your sheep shears or whatever you use to shave down your rug you go through and it ends up like that so now you have to go right back into it and do it again see I, I don't want to backtrack and do all this double work so you can do it this way now you won't get if you do it this way you won't get like these crisp lines that you will with doing these scissors and the only reason that i'm doing this is to get a crisp line here on the words and those kind of contradicting so why would you do this if you're just going to go ahead and do this well because sometimes you don't have to use these i only have to use these because Look how small that is. Those are really small letters compared to this full image. So I have to go in and use these scissors. So now if I were using it on that other rug that I was just doing, you wouldn't have to do that because it's really big letters. For instance, this right here. You wouldn't have to go in and use those little small scissors. You just, once you pull that stuff back, like all these little pieces, and then just shave over that, that line is gonna look really crisp. I'm not done at all. I still gotta go in and do a lot of fine tuning, but I just wanted to show you guys that this is kind of what, you know, you're looking for. It's the difference between just tufting the rug and taking it off the frame and shipping it out, then going in and actually detailing the lines up and trying to straighten them up and everything. So you, you can see on this side, it's semi, straight like it's still not straight but you can tell that this side has been worked on a little bit compared to let's see if you can see compared to this side i mean you can barely see what that is you can tell the words these are really bad <laughs> so just um stay tuned for the next video um hope you guys learned something from this video um and I'll show the finishing products on the next video. And then I'm also starting a new rug because I know you guys didn't get to see like anything about how to put the um, cloth on the frame and starting out and drawing your image on there. So I'm going to be talking about some of that um, in the next video. So be sure to tune in for the final product and some more tips and tricks. Juicy's.